and then the other big part is the castor oil pack. So I brought my little bag of goodies here. Castor oil, yes. And um, the way I do it is I, I don't like plastic on me, so I have fabric. And anyone want to be a guinea pig again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, you ready to expose your middle? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to show it off. Uh, okay. Here. See this video is going. <laughs> First the massage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a wool flannel. You can also get cotton flannel. And this is one I've used again. So, you're getting the real image here. What I do is I leave it in here and then, and I'm not going to do this for real, but I pour the oil in here mm -hmm. and then you pour a lot of oil in there and really just get it all mushed in there. The first time you're probably going to have to take your pack out and really just saturate it. And then... You can leave it in there? Yeah, you can leave it in there. Yeah. So, okay, left. So it's, it is still a little oily, so you're going to put it like right there. Can you hold that? Yeah. That's right there, the lower right ribs. That's where the liver is. And also we can put it, you can take turns, you can put it there, you can put it here, which is like the transverse colon, here, which would be the descending colon, and then the ascending, ascending colon would be here. So just like these four quadrants. And then the way I do it is I take the fabric, and I wrap it around. And then take an AIDS bandage. This is for when you're at home and you're you're wearing crappy shirts that can get oily. Mm -hmm. So then I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but basically you get the picture. You would take an ace bandage and just wrap it around a bunch of times and then it would just stick. Um, so that's the, yeah, that's the caster pack. And the other way you could do it would be to do saran wrap instead of the fabric. And that's more for if you're going out on town and you don't want How do you get to get oily. I'm going out to the bar. <laughs> now here's this contraption I found. I wish I know, could say where to get it online, but it's pretty cool. It actually... <laughs> it's funny, I'm pregnant. It kind of reminds me of having a baby. <laughs> you, uh, oh yeah, that's for the hot water. Okay, sorry, I got ahead of myself. You take one of these, which you can go to any drugstore and get your little combo enema and hot water bottle pack. Write some loving message to yourself if you want. <laughs> so, um, there's a little screw on top and then once, if you're in a place where you can relax with your caster pack, the best thing to do is to fill this up with hot water and then with the heat and the caster pack, that caster oil will penetrate three inches into your skin and then it starts to soften the stone mm -hmm. and soften mucus in your intestines. Mm -hmm. And caster oil is amazing. It's been used in India and all over the world forever. How hot should the water be? Just hot tap water. Don't go boiling water. And these things actually in the instructions will say don't boil water and use it in this. Yeah. This thing is in this little contraption I found that you can put this on and like strap it to yourself so you can be doing dishes in the kitchen and <laughs> wearing your little baby. <laughs> and how long should we keep the on for? At least 30 minutes, but an hour is better. And like the minimalist thing would be do it at morning and night, before work and after work. But if you can do it up to four times a day, the more the better. So but the prep days. And flush days. Every and day. it's all on the schedule okay. when you should be doing your caster pack. Um, but yeah, as much as you can. And sometimes I'll just like, especially on the flush days, I'll leave it on for hours. I mean, I'm just chilling at home. Why not? It's penetrating, doing its thing. And then this also has the parts for the enema. 
So it becomes an enema bag, which you hang on a little hook, and then there's the... You're looking for a demonstrator for that too? <laughs> oh yeah, who wants to bend over? <laughs>